to the last bloom on our uh, purple fox glove right here we got the purple one right here we got the white one right here it doesn't really have much left going on there's actually the white little piece of the white guy he had a little straggler coming off of it um, but what I want to uh, express to you guys if you have foxglove I love foxglove they're cool I grew actually grew these from seeds last year and they did not flower last year they got pretty big but then they did amazing this year sent up some beautiful flowers it was awesome now another awesome thing you could get your seeds you don't have to go out once you have one that flowers you don't have to go out and buy seeds anymore and then you have seeds for specific colors like this white one right here the seed pods will run all the way up here and they'll come out of every single flower that you had on it I've been cutting them off as I've been going over the last couple weeks as they dry out you can see literally just come over here and yeah give this a little shake Right here, all of these, once they get a little brown and start to open up, you will have tons and tons <clears throat> and tons of foxglove seeds. And all you have to do, literally I've already sprinkled some, uh, I sprinkled some about a week ago and I've already got new ones that are popping up. So you just sprinkle these wherever you want them. You can keep them in a bag, keep them in a dry area so they will not mildew. But you will have right here, every single individual one of these will be a foxglove, a new plant. So literally every year you can just keep going and keep going, recreating, uh, making new plants. And you know the color of what it's going to be, so it's a very, very cool thing. Uh, but yeah. I'm just gonna take these guys over here, come over in the back. I've just been sprinkling them around, and plus there's ones that are falling off, so hopefully next year we have tons of new um, fox glove in this little area. But yeah, quick little tip. Harvest your own fox glove seeds. Uh, once you buy a pack, you grow some. You don't have to grow no more. Or if you buy one at the store, wait a little bit don't cut these stalks down just right after they bloom and they start to look a little ugly give it a couple weeks and then you will have kind of each of these they're full of good seeds right now this is the purple but literally you just come over here give it a little shake boom now I got the purple ones right here so yeah, helpful tip. Grow your own fox glove. Once again, this is I Like Your Blooms. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found the video helpful. And you have a wonderful day. Right here on the babies. <clears throat> the baby white fox glove I planted uh, July 15th. Today is July 29th. So, you can see it's only been a week and a half going on two weeks and then we have some babies we'll see how big we can get these guys before the season's over uh, what do we got back here we got some shots to daisies we got some butterfly bush we got some purple cone flower these aren't doing too well we got a bunch of stuff hollyhocks um, bee balm Magnolia, Bleeding Hearts, Something Ate My Columbine, I'm very upset about, we got some Blue Salvia, doing pretty good back here, yeah, thank you, Fox Gloves, grow them, add them to your garden, they're super cool, seed yourself, keep things going, 